Hi friends. So today we're gonna make some fake snow. We're gonna make fake snow using only two ingredients, which you might have these sitting around at home. You can ask mom and dad, maybe they can help you make some fake snow. We're gonna make two different kinds, but for this one, we're just gonna use baking soda and shaving cream. So all we need is baking soda, shaving cream, a bowl to mix in, and a spoon to mix it. So I'll put this here. And uh, I don't have a box. I have this thing of baking soda, but on the ingredients, it tells you that you can use a box, a two pound box of baking soda. So we'll try this with one can but it also said that you might need a little extra um, shaving cream um, to get the consistency that you want. So we'll try it and see how it goes. So we're gonna add all of this baking soda. So now we're gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. Shake our shaving cream. And then we're just going to put it in, but, oh, take the lid off first, then put it in. Ooh. And it smells so good. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit, and then we're gonna stir it, and we'll add some more if we need it. Okay. I've never made snow before. How about you? See, it's starting to mix. I wonder what it's gonna feel like. Do you think it's gonna feel like snow? Like real snow? It's mixing up, but I think we're gonna need some more. So let's add a little more of the shaving cream. Shake, 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 shake it up. It comes out of the can easier if you shake it up. Okay, I'm gonna tip this a little bit. Okay, now let's mix it up again. Keep stirring. You gotta stir gentle so you don't spill it. Ooh. I think this is gonna be some good snow. Now, we're gonna get a little messy because you can't quite mix all that good and with just a spoon. You can mix better with your hands. So, we're gonna get messy and mix it with our hands. Let's get rid of the spoon first. Let's get messy. Ooh, it's so soft. Mm. It's a little bit thicker than snow would be, I think. But it feels really nice. I think we got it mixed up. I think we need to mix a little bit more. Maybe we need a little more baking soda. Maybe we did need the whole thing. Let's add some more, because it's a little bit too wet to be snow. There we go. I brought a tray so that we could dump it out on the tray once we're ready to play with it. So let's put some onto the tray. You might need mom for this so you don't get it all over. Okay, now our snow is on the tray. We made a snowball. Just like real snow. Maybe we could make a snowman. Do you think? Let's try. So we made his 
first one, now we've got to make a smaller ball to sit on top of that one. Hopefully, it'll stay together and sit up. I don't know. Oh, a little bit. Let's see if we can get his head on there. He might fall apart, though. It's not packing snow, I guess. Ah, oh, he fell apart. That's okay, though. I brought some other toys, too. So we can scoop and fill up containers. I also have some little cars so you can drive in the snow. So we're gonna do this one in a bag. So it's a little less messy too. This one, you need cornstarch and olive oil. So you might have these in your kitchen already too. There we go. So for this one, we need four cups of cornstarch and one, uh, a half a cup of olive oil. So let's start with four cups of cornstarch. You might need help with this. We'll use this to level it off. So we have one cup. There's one. Ooh. Now two. There's two. And three. And last one, four cups. Four cups. And we're going to put a half a cup of olive oil. Mm, that's about a half a cup. And you're gonna pour that in. Ooh. We can seal up the bag. Close up the bag. And then, once it's in the bag and the bag is sealed, you just squish it. Squish the bag until it's all mixed up. So you can keep squishing. See? You can see it's starting to mix. It'll look like this. And this one, it feels like snow in there. Feels like snow. It's a little bit. Looks a little bit harder than the other one. But, remember how our snowball fell apart, our snowman? This one looks like it might hold better for a snowman. The snowball is way better with this one. Let's do another one. See if this one can stay, if it will hold. This stuff is so soft. This one isn't as cold as the other one. The other one was colder, which is weird because it wasn't outside, but it's still cold. Cool. Let's put this one there and there. Now he needs a head. Okay, there's his head. Ta-da! We can make snowballs. Let's make another big snowball. Oh, you might need mom's help to make a snowball to make it stick. Cause it's tough to squish it. There, look at that one. Now let's see our big snowball against the other big snowball. Look at the difference. So one is wider. This one is softer, and this one is a little bit off-white, and it's a little more sticky. It's not as soft and dry as this one. So you can make these at home. Oh, see, that one falls apart a lot easier. Our snowball broke. You can make these at home, and then tell me which one you like better. Maybe we could even mix them together. 
for lots of snow. So you could have so much fun with this. Just make sure you tidy up your area when you're done and don't forget, wash your hands. Bye friends.